Hi everybody. Dan here. Um, I wanted to start this off by, uh, well first and foremost I want to welcome, welcome to my house. Uh, I've taken the last few weeks off and I've had a lot of a lot of thinking to do, a lot of pondering on uh, what I'm going to be doing uh, forward at this uh, particular time. Um, but uh, I do want to I want to open this by by saying that uh, from the bottom of my heart, I thank everybody out there for all the wonderful, wonderful comments that you wrote in a garland. You guys don't know how much I appreciated that. From the bottom of my heart, guys, I really appreciate it. So does the family. Um, so what I wanted to do was this. I wanted basically to show you, this is the first time I'm going to show any of this to the public, period at one given time. So what I'm going to show you is eight years of solid real research that Garland and I as research, uh, research partners achieved. And so let me go through this with you and I'll break it down. And uh, first, first and foremost as you can tell, I have three different hominin species. And remember I told you there was uh, at least a half a dozen that I know of. Well, these are the three that I, that I could uh, show you right now. And these are my own sketches. I drew all these. And as you could tell, the difference between the three definitely indicates three different hominin species. I would, I would like to say Bigfoot or Sasquatch, you know, but uh, I'm just being truthful about things because this is basically what they really are. They're, like I said before, they're hominin hybrids. There's your three. Now, right over here, right over here, uh, we have right here is an actual hair from one of these hominins and it's all measured for you and such. This particular hair measures six inches and there's two inches missing from it so in actuality it was eight inches long. You got a good close-up of that so mm -hmm. they can see the hair? Now through here what I did is I sketched up, these are just some of the uh, wood markers that we, me and Garland discovered, and I decoded them. I know which each one means. Each one. And there's quite a few more I haven't, I haven't sketched on them yet. This one here, these are some of the really oddity rock markers that Garland and I discovered. And as you could tell, we got, see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got nine different type. Now I know possibly that some of you other researchers might have came across rock markers like that and probably came across tree markers like that. Now all the years, through all the years I've been doing this, I understand what these mean, I understand what these means. And these are a symbol of communication, and these are a symbol of communication. They say something, this says so, this says something. Now, and right here, I've showed you guys this when I did the Origins of Sasquatch. But I can open it, and as you can see, this one here I'm just starting on. But as you can see, there's a lot of pages. This one here is for this year. This one here, this one here is completed. 
everything that me and Garland have came across is all documented by paper and video. Now, bring you over here. I know you guys didn't get to see it too well, but right here, my cameraman will give you a good shot of it. How's that look? That is, that is your hair that came off these hybrids. Right there. Me and Garland came across that uh, at just before we did National Geographic. Now, just in case you don't get a real good look, this time you will. Okay. Now, we got this. Remember the unknown bones? Well, here they are. <coughs> now, do you know, I've never, I've never told the public this. I have contacted several of the colleges, okay, uh, that, uh, with uh, professors that uh, instruct uh, classes on uh, panthology, and particularly forensics panthology, okay? Now, I sent a video of these bones and what, all the evidence I put together by video and I actually I uh, sent them with, along attached with an email to these professors. Now, here's the, here's the problem though. They want to stay in denial. Okay? They, they blew me off. They didn't even want to hear it. Period. So, but the thing of it is, I did my research on these bones and they do not belong to any known species in the Sierra Nevada mountains. And that is a fact. That's not a statement. That is a fact. What these bones belong to, to this day still, is unknown. Okay? As, as a matter of fact, I went as far, there's a fellow I know in my hometown, uh, same name as I got, Dan, and he's a professional butcher and meat cutter. And he special, he, his specialty is in wild game, okay? Now, he, he uh, dissects wild game, you know, from California, Oregon, state of Washington, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, Utah, okay? All your main hunting places. When, he, when I had him look at these bones, there's nothing he'd ever seen before. They're not deer. They don't belong to anything we know of. Um, and we actually, I had him do, I did a video with him live, it's on my website, uh, and I had him actually break down a deer, live, for you, okay? While he was doing it, he broke it down, and he pulled a bone that everybody thought was this, from a deer. You know what? Absolutely no match. I, did, I had it done that way to prove the point that whatever these are, they're not in the books anywhere I know of because I can't find no information on it and I can't get any professor to even take a look at them. So, still classification on these, still stays the same. It's a mystery. They're unknown bones. Maybe one day one of these professors will step up and get the hell out of denial and do the right thing. We'll see. And we have this. You guys remember this. When I did the origins of Sasquatch. And these little numbers, they're all not made up. This is all factual. This is the real stuff, my guys. Now we got one more thing. This is our personal photo album that we took and you look right up in here right up in here is a footprint right up there that was this was found up in the Sierras and even through my photo album and we picked up some footnote uh, uh, footprints in the snow as you can see them through here 
and that was up in the sea. This is all in the Sierras. And we got more footprints as you can see right here. Now this here, this here is where an area where they were actually breaking rocks into pieces. And my guess is at that time when I came across that, they were making tools from rock and stone. That's what they were doing. And these are just boulders we've taken in the Sierras. And of course, as, as you all well know, we have about a, I don't know, maybe about 125, 140 videos on my website now. Now, this is everything me and Garland, as a research team and partners, this is what we all, me and him, discovered. It's what we uncovered. And to be quite frank, we probably... Through our research, in the last eight years, we've had made discoveries, and particularly on evidence of the proof of the existence of these uh, hybrids, than anybody has since 1967. And I've looked at everything down here through the years, everything through these years, nothing like this has ever been achieved. The uh, even the, uh, uh, the videos that I posted from our trail cams, those are real deals, guy. These are the real things, man. These things, it's not a joke, it's not a hoax. These things are real, what our cameras took. Um, I'm glad that uh, the six shelters that we've done has finally been validified. Um, another big achievement we did, uh, Garland and I, uh, by a luminist, which there was a friend of mine who does a fantastic job doing this, and that's BT, Bigfoot Tony. And uh, I really appreciated the type of breakdown he did on his by luminous breakdown. If you pay attention to that, that's got my red eye shine video in it. And I'm going to tell you right now, that is real as I'm real. That's a fact. It's being validified. I assume sooner or later it's going to get in the books because there's nothing like it and I've been saying this since we've done it. Now, between me and G, oh God, we did a lot of accomplishments together. A whole lot. So, and I didn't want to keep, a, I didn't want to keep the last video in the memory of Garland as it was. There was a little bit more to it. And, as you can see, this was the rest of it to it. So, while he was here on this earth, he was a busy man. We were both very busy. Uh, now, now I'm down to a crossroads. You see, because the last couple weeks, I've been asking myself one big question. What am I going to do? I know you're all probably wondering, what's Danny going to do now? Am I going to continue on this mission? Or am I just going to stop and leave it as it is? What do you think I should do? You tell me. What do you want me to do? But to be quite honest with you, Pondering this for the last couple weeks, I've made up my mind what I'm going to be doing at this point. So I've made my decision. But you won't know my decision until my next video. So I'll leave it as that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, uh, I'll let you know I decided my next video. So, 
Until next time, I'll see you guys later. And like I said, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, each and every one of you out there. I gotta go. God bless everybody.